What's up, what's up, what's up, my party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. Hope you're having a good day. And in this video today, we are gonna be showing you how to tackle evaluating expressions when it comes to variables being included. So this is really order of operations with, again, variables included. And so really quick before we continue and I actually show you how to crush this nice and easy, remember that acing the ASVAB doesn't have to be the frustrating process that it might feel like for you. Remember that knowing what to study, how to study, a lot of that can be frustrating, especially when you couple test anxiety and then not knowing what the right strategies are for what situations. So remember, anybody can put in the time, a month, two months, five months, a year, but if you're not studying the right way, then that's where problems occur. That's where that uncertainty and that test anxiety and that nervousness really come in and don't allow you to do your best. So again, as always, if you didn't know about my program, I take care of everything for you, knowing what to study, how to study, having my back, like having your back in terms of being able to text me whenever you need help, need help with practice questions, I got you, all the classes and the recordings, all of it, I got your back. So essentially, I'll support you every step of the way until you pass. There's the information, there's my phone number. If you wanna text me to learn more about it, just include your name and let me know that you watch my YouTube video. And also, you can check the link somewhere in this post, somewhere here to get the link and there's a video explaining how all of it works. So that way you can go ahead and spend more time with me here. And then if you wanna learn more about it, check the link and everything. And that way you can learn. I got your back. So with that said, let's go ahead and crush this. Let's go. So what is the value of the expression uh, below if H equals nine, K equals seven, and uh, J equals negative five? So H is nine, J is negative five, and K is seven. My ASVAB party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. So here's how we do this. This is just like the order of operations. The only difference is that, look, you can't really evaluate this. You can't find the value if you don't know what these letters are, what these variables are, you don't know. So what you're gonna do, nice and easy. First step is just gonna be to plug in those values. You see that you have H is nine right there. You have J is negative five right there. And then you have K equals seven right there. But let me show you the biggest mistake that everyone makes. Here's the biggest mistake that people make. The biggest mistake is when handling these negative numbers. Here we have J equals negative five. So let me zoom in just a little bit here. I'm gonna show you again, the biggest mistake that people make. The biggest mistake is this. They think that, okay, J equals negative five. If I plug this in, this is gonna be negative five squared. Does that look like a mistake to you? It is, it is a mistake and here's why. The reason it's a mistake is because you need to make sure you use a parentheses because it's not the five being squared. It's the entirety of J squared, entirety of negative five being squared. That's the big key here. So many folks, so many make the common mistake of not using parentheses. So I have to emphasize that before I move forward. So next, we're just gonna plug in the rest of our values here. K equals seven. Here we can just write seven because it's just plus K plus seven. We're fine, we're fine. But if we move forward here, notice what we have here. Plus negative two, and then plus whatever H is, which we see here it's nine. 
And so we'll plug in nine right now. And then there, bam, and then we square that. Cool. So a couple of things we want to notice here. Again, like I said before, let me just zoom in. Notice again, the whole negative five is being squared. And also, you have to perform this, and then you square it. A mistake that I know people make is that they will try to do nine squared, and then they add the negative two to it. That's not the case. The parentheses here means that you are grouping this, and then you're squaring the results. And for those of you who just need that quick refresher, remember that squaring a number means that you're multiplying by itself twice, just like that. That's what negative five squared means. So with that said, booyah, what's a negative times a negative? That's gonna be a positive 25. That's gonna be a positive 25. Remember guys, if you didn't put the parentheses right here, if you didn't do it, you would have negative five squared, five squared 25, and you'd have negative 25, and then that would get your answer wrong automatically. So pay attention there, I got you. And so next, we're gonna go ahead and add that seven, and then from there, we're gonna go ahead um, and figure out what this parentheses is. Negative two plus nine, what's that gonna be? Well, negative two plus nine is the same thing as nine minus two. Just, you can switch it up, you can move it around. You can do that, perfectly allowed to do that when it comes to addition, subtraction. Just make sure to bring the sign with you. Make sure to bring the sign with you just like that. So nine minus two is pretty easy. That's seven. And what's seven squared gonna be? Remember, squaring a number means multiplying that number by itself. So seven times seven, that's gonna give you 49. Just like that, then you have your seven, then you have your 25, and now this becomes an adding game and you're all set and you're all good. And so you can use mental math at this point, solve this, and you're good. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. So with that said, here we go. 25 plus seven, that's gonna be 32. 32 plus 49, what's that gonna give us? Well, you can do 30 plus 40 which is 70, 79, 81. Boom. That's just a little bit of mental math to give yourself a nice and easy time right there. And so that's why the complete answer here is 81 and we are all set. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.